This is a tropical fish being burned alive, and this is an edible wiener dog. I put every Minecraft item through Google Translate way more times than you were supposed to, and then I made whatever result it gave me. I started with some of the most OP items in the game, netherite armor and tools. I... I don't know who Nasertic is. I drew some flames over the sword, and then I colored it red. This sword looks cool, but I have no idea what it has to do with Nasertic. Next, I did the pickaxe. Take the nurses. That's weird. I didn't really know what to do for this one, so I just drew one of those nurse helmets they wear. I'm kind of confused how this hat is able to mine through stone. Next, I made a shovel, and I got Bill Natry, but I don't know who Bill Natry is, so I just decided to draw Bill because nothing comes up when you search Bill Natry. For a netherite axe, I got low credit, so I drew a credit card, and I actually thought thought this one looked pretty good considering it's 16x. This must be Mr. Beast credit card, it's very powerful. For the hoe I got anchor stone, so I drew one of those anchors that they use on boats. I don't think I needed to say that, I don't know what other type of anchors there are. Next I did some netherite armor, veil of the nethers. I tried to make a veil out of the same colors as the helmet, but it kinda looks like a giant netherite nose. For the chest plate I got under the skin. I don't know how to make organs, so I just colored it blue because that's the same color as Steve's shirt and it said skin in the translate. Next I made pants and I got a single platform, so I drew a YouTube logo because YouTube is the platform this video is on. If you're not watching this video on YouTube, I will be reporting you to the police immediately. The last netherite item is boots, and I got a shoe that doesn't fit. I just drew a really big shoe that obviously doesn't fit. This is all the netherite armor in game. Honestly, this is kind of drip, especially the nose helmet. Now it's time to translate some random items. Spectrum index. I don't know what that means, so I just colored the arrow rainbow because that's a spectrum. Next, I did a tipped arrow. Diagonal Diagonal axis. Apparently this is a diagonal axis, I don't know what the colors in the background are for. For a glass bottle I got glass, so I tried to make a glass texture, it didn't look that good. And for a fermented spider eye I got broken eyes, so I just cut the spider eye in half. This spider won't be seeing anytime soon. The eye is already removed, it has nothing to do with him. Next I did a blaze powder. Okay we got dust map. I drew a map and then I put a bunch of dust on top of it. This kind of looks like a saltine cracker with some weird grey stuff on top of it. For a glistering melon and I got candlelight, so I drew a candle and it kind of looked like Ferb's nose. And for a clock, I got view, so I drew a window with an epic view on the other side of it. Okay, it doesn't look that great, but the view I'm imagining looks a lot better. Next, I did a phantom membrane, and I got It's a Good Movie. Shrek is a good movie, so I copy-pasted a picture of Shrek's face on top of it. Next, I did both a splash potion and a lingering potion. For the splash potion, I got the medicine is finished, so I drew one of those bottles that they put pills in. And for the lingering potion, I got strong plants, so I drew a plant and put two arms flexing coming out of the sides. I think this is my worst drawing yet. This looks terrible. Now it's time to do some other types of armor. First I did a leather helmet and I got a leather hat which is pretty much what it is so I made this brim to distinguish it from a helmet. I don't know how to add the brim in game so I just did this. Next I made a chest plate and got leather jacket. I cut some space in the middle, added some sleeves on the side, and then I colored the jacket darker. This would actually look pretty cool as an item in Minecraft. Not sure about when you wear it though. For the leather pants, Pants, I got his pants fell down, so I drew a man with his pants all the way down to his legs. And to finish the leather set, I got leather shoes, so instead of just making shoes, I decided to turn the leather boots into rocket shoes, which are much less boring than regular shoes. I also did the gold armor set. First, I made the gold helmet as a top hat, then I made the chest plate as a chest full of gold. Next, I made the pants as Polish gold, and then I made the boots as just regular shoes. I don't know why the boots always translate to shoes, it's very annoying. I also made both of these sets of armor as a model, don't look at the leather my pants are down. Because we did gold armor, it's time to do some gold tools. To sleep. I drew some Z's on the side of the pickaxe to make it look like it's asleep. Next, let's do the axe. Golden axe. Since the word axe is smaller than axe, I decided to make a little tiny axe. This looks like something from one of those mods where they make everything really complicated. For the golden shovel, I got golden cave, so I drew a dark scary cave and put a bunch of spots of gold all over the walls. For a golden sword, I got a golden sword. That's what I just said. And since the translate added an A in front, I decided to make a sword shaped into an A. This is the new alphabet lore Minecraft mod. The final golden tool is the hoe, which I translated to a gold rose, and then I started making some stone tools. The stone axe would not stop translating to stone axe. Why is the translate actually working for once? So I made a battle axe because I can only do a certain amount of translates each day before Google bans me. The stone
stone shovel became a stone face, so I tried to make Squidward's house. This was actually pretty accurate for not looking at the picture. It also kind of looks like this guy. I translated a stone sword and it gave me a stone knife, so I just, yeah. And then for a stone pickaxe, I got he picked me up, so I drew a man picking up a tiny man. I take back what I said earlier, this is the worst drawing I've ever made. The last stone tool is a hoe, which translated to the scale. I drew one of those scales that people use to see their weight, and I think your mom stepped on the scale. I'm sorry to any moms listening. For the next category, I did a bunch of boring items, so I'm going to speedrun those real quick. This is melon seeds as a pumpkin on a tree. This is a spawn egg with permission. This is a book and quill as paper and brush. This is a map as on the other hand. And this is a firework star as to sleep again. I don't know why I keep getting to sleep as a translate. For the prismarine shard, I got the heart as like a prism, so I made the shard into a heart shape. And for the prismarine crystal, I got glasses are important, so I drew a pair of glasses. I think I made the nose part a little too big. These would only fit the nose helmet. A couple other items I did was the popped chorus fruit as don't let it happen, the beetroot seeds as a carrot, and the shulker shell as a really bad version of the Minecraft logo. But one of the most interesting items I translated was the banner pattern. Okay, we got science of love. I drew a heart in the middle and then I added a science code around it. This actually just looks really weird. I don't think it's that interesting. I also made the nautilus shell as the end and a disc fragment as the entire earth. Ignore the placement of the continents. This is definitely an accurate earth. Everybody knows that food is the most important meal of the day, so next I translated some foods. Okay, we got age. I gave the rabbit a gray beard, a monocle, and a walking stick to make it look old. Next I did cooked rabbit. Cook the rabbit meat. The rabbit meat is already cooked, so I put a fire underneath to double cook it. Hopefully it's safe to eat a campfire and a metal rod. For glowberries, I got they have fresh fruit, so I drew a person and made them hold the glowberries so they had fresh fruit. And after that, I translated sweet berries and got it is a sweet fruit. So I made a strawberry because those are very sweet. I probably could have just left it as sweet berries. It kind of says it in the name. For raw mutton, I got to cook, so I drew an oven with what is supposed to be mutton inside of it. It kind of looks like the mutton is a tongue and the buttons are eyes. Next, I did cooked mutton and got delicious food, so I decided to draw my favorite food. Man, I love eating these. Comment if this is your favorite food too. There are a lot of foods in Minecraft, so I decided to speedrun the next few. I turned raw cod into a person shoveling transparency outside of their house, and then I made raw salmon into the old Minecraft fish. I made a tropical fish into a burning hot fish. I'm not sure how it's on fire if it belongs in the water. And then I made a puffer fish into two puffer fishes. Next, I made a potato and I got potatoes, so I just put more potatoes behind it. And then for a baked potato, I got to be easy, so I colored it green because green is the color for easy. I probably wouldn't eat the green potato. There's definitely something wrong with it. Next, I made a beetroot. Okay, we got black paper. I just used the regular paper texture and then I turned it black. For dry kelp, I got these words, which translates to a small dog, so I decided to draw a little wiener dog. This is definitely not what they meant by hot dog. There's still so many foods to go, so I did a few more, like this raw beef as a club from the cards, this cooked cod as a Wi-Fi symbol, this cooked salmon as... I don't really know what this is, actually. And this rabbit stew as rabbit juice. But it's time to move on from foods and do the rest of them later, so let's do some chain armor instead. Helmet chain. That's what this is supposed to be. It's a helmet chain. Next, I did the chest plate. Heart grinder. I drew some spikes on the top, and then I struggled to draw a heart underneath. I don't know why anyone would want to wear a heart grinder on their chest plate. That sounds dangerous. For leggings, I got porcelain leggings, so I tried to make one of those porcelain patterns on the pants. And for the chain boots, I got shoes and chains. It looks like these guys aren't getting out of jail anytime soon. This is a wood axe with a pause sign over it because it translated to wait. And this is a wood hoe with a mouth and some eyes because it translated to let's talk. I wonder what the wood hoe has to say. For a wood sword, it just kept translating to a wooden sword, so I just left it as a wood sword. And for a wooden shovel, I got work, so I drew a person with a construction vest and helmet and gave them some type of shovel thing. Now I can hire somebody to do my shoveling for me. It probably hurts though. There are still over a hundred items left to translate, so I started doing more random items next. Bicycle. I drew what is supposed to be a bicycle. I can't tell if this drawing is really good or really bad. I'm going to go with bad. I don't know where the handlebars are. For a recovery compass, I got innovation campus. I drew a picture of what I think is a school. I'm not really sure. I dropped out. Don't do that, by the way, kids. I don't want any parents telling me you dropped out of school. I translated a turtle egg and got I'm sick, so I turned the turtle egg green to make it look sick. And then I made a warped fungus on a stick and got 
mushrooms grow on trees. So I drew a tree and then I added some red and brown spots to look like mushrooms in a tree. Weird how I'm able to use a tree to control a strider. I made a scoot as a book with a turtle skin cover and then I made bricks as cream and then I tried to make a brain out of clay and I also turned paper into the letter A. This kind of reminds me of something from another video, I'm not sure what. For glowstone dust I got city so I added some sky, drew a bunch of buildings and then I put some yellow windows on them. I wonder if this city is powered by glowstone. Next I made an ink sack and a glow ink sack. For the ink sack I got I hid so I drew somebody hiding behind a desk and then for the glow ink sack I got a long black bag so I made a long black bag with a golden handle on the top. Now it's time to translate every die. I'm actually too lazy to do that so I only translated purple. And it gave me except this. I decided to color the purple die every die color in the game except for purple. See that? Now I killed every bird with one stone. You can't really tell which color is which though. For cocoa beans I got soon so I made a picture from a video that I'm making soon. You can't really tell what's going on, it's a little undetailed. And for pumpkin seeds I got clock so I drew a very bad clock. Just ignore the dots that are supposed to be numbers, there are definitely 12 and they are all in the right spot. Now it's time for me to translate some diamond armor. Head. Yeah, that's where the helmet goes. I ended up drawing a messed up looking Bruh. face, and for the actual helmet, I copied it on the front and added some hair on all the other sides. Honestly, I think this helmet looks really good. There is nothing wrong with it. Next, let's do a chest plate. I don't know why it keeps giving me body parts. I decided to just draw an arm because that's what it said. I then copied the arm over top of the chest plate and made absolutely no effort to make it fit. Even though I did that, I somehow got the arms in the right place. Not really sure why they're so big though. Next I made the leggings and I got rubber. I could have colored the pants rubber color but instead I turned it into a rubber duck because I'm a duck. I then drew a duck's face in a questionable area of the pants and colored the rest yellow. These are the pants in game, let me know if you would cough. For the boots I got boat so I literally just copy pasted a boat on top of the boots. I then made the actual boots boat colored. This is probably the most normal piece of armor I made even though it shows up as a boat in my inventory. The shield is kind of armor so I translated the shield. This is a mystery. Because it's a mystery I just deleted the shield texture completely. It turns out you can't delete textures though and it just made the shield all black. Alright now that I've made the shield I have a full armor set. Guys let me know if you would wear this. Next I'm going to be translating some ores. I am a tree. I drew a tree body and added some leaves on top and then I gave it a smiley face because the tree is alive. Next I translated an emerald. Monagan? Monagon? I don't know what that is. Apparently Monagan is a place in Ireland so I drew a four leaf clover because that's Irish or something. Guys never let me draw a clover again. For iron I got iron pot so I just drew a pot which basically looks like a big bucket so I added some handles on the side so you can tell the difference. Next I made gold and I got turned down. I didn't know what to do for this one so I just made a road sign but put a down arrow instead. I don't know what roads you can turn down on but that's not my problem. Next I translated a netherite ingot which isn't technically an ore but it's an ingot so whatever. I got bad netherite so I gave it an arm holding a knife with an unspecified red liquid on it and then I gave him two angry eyes with an upside down smile. After that I decided to start a hardcore series. Okay guys so I did some mining off camera. Now I think it's time to build a house. Yo edit this part out. Alright, now that the house is done, we're going to build a giant ring of biomes around it. I also translated some other ores, so here are those quickly. This is a copper ingot as a suitcase. This is redstone as blackstone. This is lapis as onyx stone. Okay, I think I made the wrong type of onyx. This is Japanese coal. And finally, this is amethyst as a person. Also, I know amethyst isn't an ore, I just thought it fit here. Now that we've translated some ores, we need something to mine them with, so let's make some tools. Okay, we got certify. I decided to draw one of those certificates that they give out at school for good grades or something and then I added this line which is the text and I put one of those sticker things in the corner. It kinda looks like I'm holding a hammer. Honestly I'm surprised my pickaxe still works now that it's made out of paper. Next I did the sword. Okay we got sword but big. For this one I decided to make a really fat sword because I didn't really know what else to do. Guys rate my sword from 1 to 10. You'd think you would do more damage because it's bigger. I give it a 0. Next I translated the axe and it just translated to ah. For this one I wanted to make the axe yelling so I added a mouth on the front and then I gave the axe a large tongue and finally I gave it an eye which has nothing to do with yelling I just wanted to do it. I can understand why the axe is yelling, I would be too if someone kept slamming me against a tree. For the shovel I got spade, and a shovel is a spade so I made the thing from the cards instead. Okay this looks terrible. Instead of adding it to the top of the shovel I just drew the spade instead and it ended up looking much better. This thing would actually look kind of cool if it was a weapon, but it's just a shovel so it's useless to me. Next I translated the hoe. Okay I got Adam's hat. 
Who is Adam? I looked up Adam's hat and found someone wearing a yellow hat, so I tried to make a yellow hat, but it was hard because tools are usually made sideways. The only reason this looks like a hat is because I know it's a hat. I am also not Adam, so I have to throw this away. I'm not allowed to have it. Next, I made some things that are technically tools. For the bow, I got plastic bags, so I made a plastic bag. That's it. Next, I did a crossbow and it said rainbow, so I added a rainbow gradient over the crossbow five times for all the phases. The crossbow looked normal when I shot it, but I can't say the same for the regular bow. For flint and steel, I got stone and iron, and that is basically what flint and steel is, so I decided to replace the flint with a stone block and the steel with an iron ingot to literally make it stone and iron. For shears, I ended up getting there for. I didn't know what to do for this, so I just turned the shears into a mouth and gave it a tongue and one angry eye. The reason I did this was because people might say therefore in an argument, so he's meant to look like he's arguing. Now for the final tool, I made a fishing rod and I got Medan? Medan? I couldn't figure out what my Dan meant, so I looked it up and saw this picture from a restaurant, so I decided to make the plate with the food on it. I even made it so when I cast the fishing rod, the plate empties. Isn't that cool? For the next category, we're going to be translating some foods. First, I did steak, and I got meat. I'm pretty sure steak is meat, so I decided to color it a weird color and add a question mark so it's mystery meat instead. Would you eat this? It kinda just looks like bread with a question mark. Next, I translated an apple, and I got lake. I added a big pool of water, and then I drew this boat with a big red flag in the middle. I will not be taste testing this one because my mom told me not to drink the lake water when I was younger. For chicken, I got you cannot, so I just put a big red X over the chicken, meaning I can no longer eat it. Next, I translated bread, and I got a piece of bread, so I turned it into a slice of bread and put a nice patch of butter in the top corner. For cake, I got pockets, so I made the cake into the shape of pants, and then I gave it two pockets. I kind of forgot that cake is a block, so really the only one I can eat is a slice of bread. It tastes really good, the yellow part really gives it flavor. Next I made a cookie and I got dirt, so I just cut the shape of a cookie out of dirt. My mom also told me not to eat dirt, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's in the shape of a cookie. For the golden carrot, I got a golden beginning, so I made a certificate again because that was the first thing I made in this video. Now for the final food item, I translated the golden apple. Okay, we got liver. I decided to just draw a liver, which is somehow the most normal food out of all of these. Alright, liver taste test. In game, not actually. I would never eat that. Wow, it actually gives me a lot of potion effects. Maybe the liver king was right. Alright, now that I've done some foods, it's time to translate a bunch of random items. The first item is the totem, which translated to down the totem pole. For this one, I just made a totem pole, which was kind of hard to do when it's this small. But it doesn't look that bad when you hold it, or when you die, so that's cool. Next, I translated the ender pearl, and I got a Japanese word, which translated to shell. It turns out I have no idea how to draw a shell, and I'm not even sure if I got the color right, because I was thinking of the gas station. For the eye of ender, I got I do not know, so I cut the shape of a question mark out of the original texture. This is this is how it looks when I throw both of these if you wanted to know. For egg I got in bed, so I drew a red minecraft bed around the egg as if it was sleeping. This kinda looks like one of those egg drop projects, so let's see if it works. Nope, the egg still broke. Next I made a snowball and I got viburnum, which apparently is a plant that looks like this. I drew some leaves around it and then turned it yellow to match the little white things on the plant. Next I made an arrow and it didn't seem too happy with me so I just drew an angry face. For a bucket it translated to 2 with a quotation mark which sounds the same as the number so I copy pasted another bucket beside it so there was 2 buckets. Next I made the water bucket and I got a glass of water so I drew a wine glass around the water and added a little spill on top because it was overflowing. Finally I translated a lava bucket and got room so I decided to make a 2D picture of the back rooms. Placing the back rooms on the ground and having it turn into two buckets looks quite interesting, but honestly I kind of like the back rooms art. Not the buckets though, this sucks. For the next category, I decided to make some items that come from the nether in the end. First, I translated nether wart. Okay. I don't know who was released, but it doesn't sound good, so I drew some iron bars around the nether wart and made the ones in the middle look like they were broken and the nether wart is escaping. Next, I made a blaze rod and got this. I decided to make a night sky with some thumbnail colored grass in the bottom, and then I added some stars, and finally I added the sun instead of the moon. For the gas tier, I got there is nothing wrong with yelling. Why are these so scary all of a sudden? I drew a man with an exclamation mark coming out of his mouth to show that he's yelling, and then I put a green check mark over it, showing that it's okay. Next, I made a potion and got house or tent. It's nice that it's giving me options. I decided to just make a little house, and I gave it a door with two windows which looked like eyes and a mouth. Great, now you can't tell what any of the potions are without reading them. Also, I like how the man yelling is in the top left. It's a true work of art. I made a few more nether items but don't feel like showing them, so here's a nether brick as a name tag with a cool and original name on it. Here's a netherite scrap as low sodium. Next we have quartz as a low res emoji holding up a thank you heart. And finally we have a fire charge pointing at you. 
Now that we've done the nether, it's time to do the end, and there aren't that many items in the end, so first I made a chorus fruit. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll that one. That's better. I didn't know what to do for this, so I just colored it purple because product color, I guess. Next, I made an elytra and got little wing. For this one, I just made one of the wings smaller. And I made both of them small on the model because it turns out you can't edit the wings separately. Next, I did dragon's breath and I got this is a dangerous city. Apparently, Tijuana is the most dangerous city in the world, so I'm going to draw a picture of it. First, I added a road in the bottom corner, and then I added this arch and a couple of palm trees. After that, I added some buildings behind them, and finally, I added some water and some sky in the sky. Next, I made some items you find when you make a new world. Okay, we got I will plan. I made the stick smaller, drew a piece of paper, and then I added this arm to make it look like it's writing a plan. I thought it would look better in game, but it doesn't. If you spawn near an ocean, you usually make a boat, so let's do a boat. My car. I don't have a car, so I decided to make my dream car instead. I drew the body, added a spot for the window, and then I gave him his eyes, added some yellow spots, and finally I drew his tires. ka -chow. That was him, not me. In a new world, you usually steal wheat from villagers, so I translated wheat. I don't- I don't know what that is. Apparently that word means health research, so I drew a heart. Next I did a carrot. I got go to school, so I drew a picture of someone's mom yelling at them to go to school. This part is supposed to be an arm, by the way. Also, I am eating someone's mom. Books are usually found in villages, so I translated a book. Okay, we got two reduce. They always tell you to reduce, reuse, and recycle, so for this one I decided to draw the recycling sign. Okay, maybe I should have done something else. What is this? For seeds, I got the enemy, and the enemy of seeds is probably fire, so I drew some fire. Actually, it doesn't seem to be burning them, so I guess it's fine. Never mind, that was the wrong fire. I also ended up making raw chicken, and I got chicken, so I just drew a real chicken, and then I made a sapling, and I got frog, so I drew a bright green frog. I didn't know this is what they meant when I ordered the full chicken. Also, this is the new sapling. Hopefully, it's not poisonous. For the next category, I made some tools. Okay, we got the knife. All I did was make the sword smaller, turning it into a knife. It's funny because this pack now has the biggest sword and the smallest sword. Now, let's make the pickaxe. The chicken is ready. I already made a chicken for raw chicken, so I tried to turn the pickaxe into a chicken. I drew a beak, added the red thing which I think is called the goiter, and then I gave it some eyes and colored it white. Finally, I drew some wings, and then I gave it some goofy looking feet. Who knew that chickens were so good for mining? Whoops, I burned the diamonds. Next, I made the axe. I got X as a binary number, so I drew a light pink X, and then I gave it some things on the top, and finally I added his face. It's alphabet lore letter X, if you couldn't tell. For shovel, I got iron rings, so I turned the top part of the shovel into a ring like this. I'm pretty sure this defeats the purpose of a shovel because all the dirt would just go through the hole, but whatever. Now let's make the hoe. Okay, we got steel shoes. I copy-pasted iron boots on top of the hoe, and then I changed them a little bit to make them look cool. I also made a couple things that are technically tools. Here's the trident as a ship, here's the spyglass as me, and for the carrot on a stick I got remembered, so I made a subscribe button in case you forgot to subscribe. The pig is literally chasing me to do it, you have to. Now it's time to make some random items. Listen to the recording. Okay then. Next, let's do the heart of the sea. Then I walked. I drew some legs under the heart of the sea, and then I gave it some red shoes to make it look like it's walking. Next, I did a goat horn, and I got this is not the end. I drew some end stone, then I added some end pillars, and finally I filled in the sky and added a big red X over it because this is not the end. Next, let's do the echo shard. This is salt. I drew a ziploc bag and filled it with what is obviously salt, just like what it says. Wait, why are the cops outside? What did I do? I did a honeycomb and got there was no one there, so I added a floor and a wall, drew a table, and then I put this banner thing and added some confetti. This is a picture of one of my birthday parties when I was a kid. Next, I made horse armor and I got search now. I decided to just draw the search thing that shows up on Google, but it doesn't really look like it. For the nether star, I got not life, and the opposite of life is death, so I drew the grim reaper because he is death. This is supposed to be the scythe, if you couldn't tell. For firework rockets, I got a sign, so I drew a brown stick, added a wooden sign, and then I put some black lines on it which is supposed to be text. I also had to check if a sign shot up in the air, and I'm happy to say that it does. I made sugar and I got along the Sawyer River. Apparently this is the Sawyer River, so I drew some water, then I added some trees, and finally I added some sky in the sky. Do you think this looks like the picture? I don't. Next I made a minecart. His name is Football. That's kind of a weird name. I drew a football and gave him a face because he's alive. I also don't really know how to model this one in game, so here you go. 
For a saddle, I got Weedza and Janotsky. Apparently, this means knowledge and skills, so I made a light bulb because that is usually associated with knowledge. It's funny because I know that. Okay, it really isn't. Now that I finished making random items, it's time to make some armor. Metal shoes. Iron boots are already metal shoes, so I just made them a bit darker so they don't look like iron. Next, let's do the pants. Okay, we got iron bones. I drew some white bones over top of the pants, and then I added some darker ones in the back to give it some detail. Next, I made a chest plate. We got creates a sample. For this one, I wanted to make a Costco sample, so I drew a plate in the middle, and then I drew some mystery orange food on top of it. Unfortunately, I got caught lacking, though, and the sample was actually a Burger King hot dog. For the helmet, I got a metal box, so I made the helmet into the shape of a box, and then I added a line in the middle to make it look like a chest. This is what each individual armor piece looks like in-game, and this is all of them together. Together. Let me know which one looks worse, the iron armor or the diamond. Now it's time to make some food items. First, we'll make a pork chop. I got country, so I drew a Canadian flag because I'm from Canada. We'll just ignore the maple leaf, it looks fine. Next, I made mushroom soup. Okay, we got mushroom juice. I drew a white juice box, added a yellow straw at the top, and then I drew a picture of a mushroom in the middle. I don't know who would drink mushroom juice, but do what you want, I guess. Since I made soup, I decided to make a bowl, and I got it suits you, so I drew a black suit, and then I added a red tie on the front. Because I made the bowl, it looks like I have to drink the mushroom juice now. Now it's time to make a honey bottle. Pots with honey. I made a big pot and filled it with honey, and then I made it drip a little bit on the side. Next, I made pumpkin pie, and I got a pumpkin, so I drew a pumpkin. That's it. For rotten flesh, I got a bad feeling, so I decided to make my own custom emoji. I added some eyes and some eyebrows, and then I made a weird looking mouth. After that, I decided to make the emoji look more green instead, and then I added some red cheeks for detail. This emoji looks really weird, so I wouldn't eat it. It's also rotten flesh, so I wouldn't eat it anyway. Next, I made a spider eye, and I got spiders, so I just made a spider. Would you rather eat a whole spider or a spider-sized spider eye? I hope neither of them poison you in real life. For melon slice, I got melon colors, so I just... yeah. Next, I made a poisonous potato, and I got they poison the potatoes. I made the potato smaller, and then I drew someone in an astronaut suit, which is supposed to be a hazmat suit, and then I made them poisoning a potato. Milk is kind of a food, so I translated milk. I got a glass of milk, so I drew a blue glass, filled it with milk, and then I made it overflowing on the side, because I always do that. Because I did the milk bucket, I decided to translate some other buckets as well. Here is powdered snow as touching grass. Here is a pufferfish bucket as a glass of water. This is a salmon bucket as salmon cake, and this is a tropical fish bucket as food and fish. The thing on the bottom is food, if that's unclear. The next bucket I did was a cod bucket, and I got promise. I heard you promise to press the subscribe button, so I made the subscribe- Next, I made the axolotl bucket as gold fishing, and this is the tadpole bucket as candy corn. Now it's time to make some cave things. First, let's do raw iron. Will be discussed period. I drew a face with a mouth open and a tongue to show they are discussing something. After that, I added a weird looking eye. Minecraft really changed the caving experience in 1.20. I am burning realistic Pac-Man right now, this is crazy. Next, I made raw copper and I got every time. I drew a clock and then tried to make it pointing at every hour, but that was impossible to do in 16x, so it kinda looks like some kind of anime Bruh. item. Next, I did raw gold and got good news. I drew a newspaper and then I put a check mark over it, confirming that it's good news. For a gold nugget, I got a million gold, so I made the nugget smaller and then copy-pasted it everywhere. After that, I made an iron nugget and got money, so I drew a really green dollar bill, and then I became rich in Minecraft, ironically with the two worst materials. Next, I made charcoal and got chat with, so I made a chat bubble. And then I did flint and got you can, so I drew a check mark over the flint showing that you can. For the next category, I want to do some mob drops, so first I did string. Okay, we got equivalent. Yarn is kind of like the equivalent of string, so I made a ball of yarn. The crafting recipe for wool actually makes a lot more sense now. For gunpowder, I also got money, so I rerolled and got still no money. I just wrote zero dollars on a white background because I didn't know what to do. Next, I did a feather and got the water tank is full, so I drew a water tank and made it full. After that, I did leather and got during the summer. I colored the sky blue, added some thumbnail glass, made a tree, and then I added the sun and some clouds. Next, let's do a bone. Out of class. I drew a floor and a wall, added a desk and a whiteboard, and then I drew a person leaving the class. Next, I did rabbit hide and got a rabbit was born. Kind of the opposite happened, actually. I tried my best to draw a rabbit, and it actually ended up looking kind of good. Now, when you kill a rabbit, you just get a rabbit. You also get a chicken when you kill a chicken, so that's cool. I did a slime 
ball and got a little tar goes a long way, so I found a picture of a road and then I cut the shape of a slime ball out of it to make a tar ball. I did magma cream and I got you think about it. I thought about it for a while and I decided to draw a brain. I'm going to be Google translating Minecraft mobs a hundred thousand times and then making whatever result I get. The first mob is a warden. Translate. And we got ten demons. For this one, I think I'm gonna make a ten-headed demon. Let's start by deleting some of the stuff we don't need. And then I'm gonna make this part of his body a little smaller. Now let's add another part on the bottom. And we'll start to give him some new feet. And let's copy it over to the other side. Now we'll start to give him some new arms. And we'll give him some hands on the bottom as well. And now it's time to start working on his heads. Let's start by making this cube a lot smaller. And we'll give him an ear like this. Now let's start to shape the bottom of his head a little more demon-like. And finally, we'll give him some eyes. And now we need to color this guy in, because obviously we aren't going to use these colors. So let's color his whole body light red. And we'll color his eyes a lightish yellow. Now let's give him some brown eyebrows right here. And we'll give him some scary teeth like this. And now let's just add a bit of texture all around his head. And let's copy this head all around his body until he has 10 heads. Okay, so we only have 6 heads, but it's all we can fit. So it's going to be a 6-headed demon instead. Alright, now let's add a cloth type thing so he has some pants. And we'll just start adding some texture all around his body. Now let's add a belt on top of his clothes. And finally, we'll add a bit more texture. And I think this guy is looking really good. Let's see him in game. This is how the six-headed demon looks in game. This guy actually looks really good. I also added a fire trail when he walks, as you can see, and that makes him look especially cool. The six-headed demon is really powerful, and he gives you potion effects before he even attacks you. Then when you get attacked by him, it sets you on fire and summons a lightning bolt as well. So basically killing this guy is going to be really difficult, just like the actual warden. The six-headed demon also comes in two colors, as there is a soul fire demon as well. Although I think the red one looks a lot better. If you right-click the six-headed demon, he gets really angry as you can see, but I'm pretty sure that's just his reaction to you not subscribing. Bruh. Overall, I think the six-headed demon looks really good, and he's probably one of my favorite mobs of all time. So because of that, I'm obviously gonna give him a 10 out of 10. He's just too good. Next, we'll translate a villager. What will we get? And we got one day. One day that's coming up is Halloween, so I think I'm gonna make a reaper with a pumpkin head. Let's delete some of the stuff we don't need, and we'll make his legs a little bit smaller. Now let's move his body up, and we'll make his legs longer as well. Next, let's give him a neck, and we'll start giving him some new legs. Now let's give him a shoe like this, and that's looking pretty good, so let's work on his arms. Let's bend his arms out like this, and we'll give him a little hand on the end of it, and now let's copy this over to the other side. Next, let's work on his pumpkin head. We'll shape the head into a pumpkin like this, and next we'll start to add a carved out face on his head as well. Now let's add a little stem on top, and this is looking pretty good, so let's give him some color. First, we'll color his shirt black, and we'll do the same for his pants. Now let's color the pumpkin completely orange, and we'll color the stem green as well. Now I'm gonna overlay his shirt a bit to make it look kind of torn up, and we'll do this on the arms as well. Now finally, let's add his reaper sight, and this guy's looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is how the Halloween guy looks in game. That's what I ended up naming him, Halloween guy. But yeah, he actually looks pretty good. I will say the shaders make his clothes look a little bit boring though. There was way more color in block bench. But to make up for it, I made him make witch noises, which makes him seem pretty scary. The witch noises aren't the only scary thing though, because when the Halloween guy sees you, he instantly turns it to night and strikes lightning all around him. His attack is also pretty scary as he literally just teleports around you until you're dead. The good news is he's not nearly as powerful as the six-headed demon though. He gets two shot by him. If you kill the Halloween guy, he drops his scythe, which is definitely not just an iron hoe. It's the scythe that he's holding for sure. And overall, I think the Halloween guy definitely looks good and his abilities fit him really well. So because of that, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 as well. The next mob is a pillager. Let's translate this. And we got it was terrible. The first time I made one of these videos, I made Sonic and it looked really bad, so I think I'm gonna make Sonic. So first, let's make his body a little bit smaller, and next we'll completely change the shape of his legs like this. Now let's give him his shoes as well, and we'll rotate this leg a little bit more and copy it over to the other side. Now let's make his arms a lot more skinny like this, and we'll rotate this part up a bit and also give him a hand. And I think this body looks good, so now let's move on to his head. First, we'll add a little mouth area like this, and we'll add the rest of his head on the back like this. Now let's add an area for his eyes on the top, and we'll also give him a nose. Alright, now let's give him some ears on the top, and we'll just add his hair on the back as well, and we'll copy this hair over to the other side. Okay, now I think it's time to give this guy some color. So let's color most of his body this blue color, and then we'll color some of his body parts a different color as well. Now let's give him some white hands, and we'll also color part of his shoes, and let's make the other part of his shoes red like this. Now finally, let's give him some eyes, and we'll just add a little bit of texture all around his body. Alright, I think this guy looks pretty good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is how Sonic looks in game. He looks way better than the original Sonic I made. Sonic is also really fast, obviously, and I gave him a Sonic-like animation when he runs. It's basically just a Naruto run, but we'll just ignore
ignore that. When Sonic attacks an enemy, I also gave him an animation of him rolling up into a ball, which looks especially cool if he's hunting for coins. Ignore what happens when you put a bunch of coins in a row, though. This is weird. If you kill Sonic, he drops Sonic boots, which when worn, gives you speed 4, basically turning you into Sonic. This is also what happens if you hold out one of these rings, so Sonic adds a lot of speed to the game. Sonic is also able to beat the Halloween guy in a fight, which is not really what I expected. I thought he would do worse. The six-headed demon is still undefeated, though, and probably will be for a while. Overall, I think Sonic looks pretty good in games, so I decided to give him a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a piglin. What will we get? And we got feel tired. If you feel tired, it's probably your bedtime, so I'm going to make a clock man. Let's start by removing his ears, and I'm gonna split his legs into two like this, and I'll also bend them as well. Now let's give him a shoe, and we'll copy this to the other side. Next, I'm gonna change the shape of his body a little bit, and we'll also bend his arm a little bit, and we'll copy this to the other side too. Now this body is looking good, so let's work on his head. First, we'll give him a neck to connect it to his body, and we'll make this cube a lot bigger, because this is where the clocks will be. Now let's also add his hat on top like this, and I think that's looking good, so it's time to color him in. I'm going to color his body dark gray like this, and we'll make it slightly darker for his pants. Now let's color his shoes and his hat as well, and finally we'll color the clock this color for now. And now it's time to start adding the clock. And let's add the hands on it like this. Now we'll add a few more details to his suit, and we'll give him a trench coat like this. And let's add a belt over top as well. Now finally let's give this guy some texture. And I think that turned out good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the clock man in game. It turns out he is a large clock man, so I made sure I changed that on his boss bar. But he does look pretty cool in game, although his head is kind of big compared to the rest of his body. When the clock man gets in a fight, he changes the time of day every time he hits an enemy. This ends up making it really weird when he fights the Halloween guy. The clock man also drops a suspicious clock when he dies, and if you right click the suspicious clock, you can instantly change the time of day as well. This definitely is way too OP of an item though, as it basically makes beds useless. But it's still cool because it mimics his attack. But yeah, that's all there really is to the clock man, there aren't many features that come with him. I still think he looks pretty good though, so because of that I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. The next mob is a zombie. Translate, and we got bathroom. For this one, I think I'm going to combine a toilet with a zombie. So first, let's change his body into the base of a toilet, and we'll start to build the shape of a toilet like this. Now let's add the toilet seat right here, and we'll also add the back of the toilet. Okay, now that the toilet is done, we need to connect his body parts to the toilet. So first, I'm just gonna give him a bigger leg like this, and we'll copy this over to the other side. And now let's make his arm a little bit different, and we'll rotate it to the side so it doesn't clip through his leg. Now let's copy that to the other side as well, and it's time to work on his head. I want to make his head look like it's made out of water. So let's make the shape of a mouth like this, and we'll give him some water drops on the side, and also some eyes over top. Alright, now it's time to add some color, so let's color the toilet completely white, and we'll color his head blue to match the toilet water. Now let's color in his mouth and his eyes, and we'll also recolor all the zombie parts because they look a little messed up. Now let's change the color of his hands to match his head, and finally let's give him some texture. Alright, that doesn't look too bad, let's see how it looks in game. This is how the toilet zombie looks in game, I can't tell if it looks good or bad. I think it's just the default zombie clothes, they don't really match the hands and the head. The toilet zombie is also somehow really fast, which makes no sense, because I'm pretty sure I made him slow. And if you kill the toilet zombie, instead of dropping rotten flesh, he drops wet flesh. Which even though it seems cursed, it only gives you water breathing, so it's actually kind of useful. There is also a king zombie, which is way more powerful than the default ones. The king toilet also shoots water balls at you, which may seem like it isn't dangerous, but that is definitely not the case. If you kill a king toilet zombie, he drops a king's crown, which is definitely Definitely not an item from one of my previous videos. It's also not supposed to be red. I don't know what happened. But overall, I think the toilet zombies are a pretty cool addition to the game, so because of that, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a skeleton. What will we get? And we got in Belgium. I'm pretty sure they invented waffles in Belgium, so let's make a waffle man. Let's start by removing all this stuff, and we'll move his arms away because we don't need these right now. Now let's shape the middle part into a waffle like this, and we'll just add a little bit of detail to make sure this looks like a waffle. Now let's make the top part of his arm a little bit bigger like this, and we'll add a bottom part to his arm as well, and let's copy this arm over to the other side, and now it's time to add some color to our waffle man. First, I'm gonna color both of his arms a really dark gray, and we'll also color his body waffle color. I'm going to color the lines on the waffle a little bit darker so they stand out, and now that looks pretty good, so let's just rotate his arms, and I wanna make him holding a fork and a knife, so first let's add a fork in his left hand, and we'll color the fork fully light gray like this. Now let's add a knife in his right hand. Now let's add some texture all around him, and I think this guy looks looks too plain, so I'm gonna give him some eyes like this, and I'll also give him a mouth down here, and finally let's add some eyebrows on the top, and I think this guy is looking pretty good, let's see how he looks in game. This is the waffle man in game, he definitely looks pretty interesting. I especially like how it looks like he's swimming in the air when he
he flies around. It's pretty funny. The Waffle Man isn't really a hostile mob, but you are able to tame him using cocoa beans, which I picked as an item because of Belgian chocolate because our translate was in Belgium. If your Waffle Man dies, he drops a waffle, which when you eat it gives you strength and regeneration for 15 seconds. That isn't the only feature the Waffle Man has though, as you're able to ride the Waffle Man as well. He is quite slow though, so an Elytra is probably better. Overall, I think the Waffle Man didn't turn out that bad, but he's definitely not my favorite, so because of that, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. The next mob is a cow. Translate, and we got glass of milk. Okay, this one is pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna make a glass of milk. So first, let's remove all the stuff we don't need, and let's rotate the body upwards so we can make it into a glass of milk. First, I'm gonna add an outline all around it that is going to be the glass, and we'll just put some parts of the top like this. And next, I want to make this glass of milk alive, so I'm gonna give him some feet on the bottom, and I'm gonna start working on some arms for him as well. Let's also bend the arm a little bit like this, and we'll copy it over to the other side. And finally, let's just add a straw on the top, and now it's time for us to add some color. First, I'm gonna color the milk in white like this, and I'll make the straw a little bit darker so it doesn't blend in. Now it's time to color the glass, so let's color it a dark bluish color, and we'll also color his arms and legs a really dark gray. Okay, now that that's done, it's time to give our glass of milk a face. So let's add some eyes like this, and I'm also gonna give him a little mouth underneath. Now let's add a little bit of texture to this guy, and I'm also gonna change the straw to red so it stands out a lot more. Okay, I think that is looking pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is our glass of milk in game. He kind of looks like something you would see in a milk commercial. I don't think you want to drink this guy though. I doubt he tastes good. I will say his running animation looks pretty funny though. It's exactly how I would imagine a glass of milk running. The glass of milk also randomly does a backflip because that totally makes sense. Just ignore the fact that he doesn't spill at all. If you throw splash potions at the glass of milk, it does nothing because milk clears effects, and you can also clear effects by right-clicking him if you tame him with sugar. This means you'll never have to drink milk again if you have this guy, which is exactly what he wanted. I'm going to give the glass of milk an 8 out of 10. He's not the best mob, but he's definitely pretty cool. Next, I'll translate a pig. What will we get? And we just got light. For this one, I think I'm gonna make some kind of light golem. First, I'm gonna rearrange his body parts like this, and let's take his body and make it a lot bigger because it's a golem. Now, let's change the shape of his head a bit to match his body, and we'll give him some arms like this. I'm also gonna give him a massive fist on the bottom as well, and we'll just copy this over to the other side. Now let's add some horns on the top, which I'm going to make into lanterns later, and this is a pretty good body, so now let's add some color. First, let's color his whole body a stonish color, and I'm going to draw a yellow area, which is going to be replaced with a glowstone texture later. So let's put another yellow area on his hands, and I'm also gonna give him some eyes, which will be yellow as well. Now let's add a few more darker parts like this, and now that I've added texture onto him, he looks way better, but we still need to make the top things into lanterns like this, and we'll also give him some torches on his shoulders as well. Now let's change his eyes a little bit, because they look kind of weird, and I don't think that looks too bad. Let's see how he looks in-game. This is the light golem in-game. I have no idea why he is orange. Okay, I actually have to turn off the shaders for this one. It's because I made it so the light golem emits light, which as you can see, makes him pretty useful to have with you in the caves. If you want to spawn the light golem, he is crafted using four glowstone blocks and a pumpkin. I have no idea why you get to keep two of them, though. That's weird. And other than providing a light source, the light golem also fights hostile mobs. He also strikes lightning every time he attacks them because he is the light golem. And this actually makes him pretty OP. Not good enough to kill the six-headed demon, though. Nothing will ever be. Overall, I think the light golem looks kind of strange. The glowstone is definitely kind of weird looking. So, because of this, I decided to give the light golem a 6 out of 10. The next mob is an iron golem. Translate, and we got education. Okay, for this one, I think I'm gonna make the teacher golem. First, I'm going to make his body a little bit different of a shape, and let's add some shoes to the bottom of his legs like this. Next, I'm gonna give his arms an extra limb so that we can bend them. And now it's time to add some color, so first we'll color his shirt a lightish blue, and we'll color his pants dark gray, and his shoes will be brown. Okay, now let's add a vest all around his body like this, and I'm gonna color the vest brown just like we did for his shoes. Okay, now that's looking good, so it's time to add some details to his shirt, and we'll give him some hands. And I want to put one of those pointer things in his right hand, so let's do that. And in his left hand, I'm going to give him a book, so let's mirror this and move it a bit. And now we'll just give him some glasses like this. Now finally, I think it's time to give him some texture. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's add him to the game. This is the teacher golem in game. I will say he looks a lot better than I thought he would. Overall, he just looks kind of weird with the clothes though. It kind of looks like he's from a monster school video. Similar to spawning the light golem, you need four bookshelves to spawn the teacher golem instead. The teacher golem can be especially useful to craft if you need to study because every time you right click him, he tells you a random fact from Google, which was originally named Backrub according to the teacher golem. The teacher golem is also able to fight though, as he gives you a random potion effect every time he attacks you. But will that be enough to beat the six-headed demon? It actually is, but that's only because he's somehow immune to his attacks. I guess he's just fighting smarter than the six-headed demon. Overall, I think the 
the teacher golem doesn't look the best, but his features are still pretty cool, so because of that, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Next, I'll translate a creeper. What will we get? And we got don't go. That's basically telling us to stop, so for this one, I'm going to make a living stop sign. First, let's remove his back legs, because we don't need them. And we'll shape his body into more of a stop sign body like this. Now, let's move his head up a bit, and we'll shape his head into a stop sign. Okay, that's looking pretty good, so now it's time to work on his legs. And let's just add a piece that connects to the body like this, and we'll copy this to the other side. Next, I'm going to give him some arms, and we'll make these arms bend out towards the front like this, and let's copy this to the other side as well, and I think that's pretty good, so now it's time to add some color. First, let's color the stop sign completely red, and then we'll color his body a light gray, kind of like a stop sign bowl. Next, I'm going to put a white outline around the stop sign like this, and we'll add some text that says stop over the top of the sign. Now, let's color his hands and feet a bit darker gray, and we'll start to add some texture like this, and I think that's looking good. Let's see how he looks in game. This is the stop sign man in game. For what it is, he looks pretty good. The stop sign man's running animation also looks pretty funny, just like the glass of milk. Since the stop sign man was made from a creeper, he has a random chance of exploding every time he attacks something. The stop sign man also temporarily freezes you when he attacks you because he wants you to stop. If you kill a stop sign man, he drops a stop sign, which is a weapon that pretty much does the exact same things that his attack does, so you can become the stop sign man. It's also a surprisingly good weapon to use against the stop sign man as well. Overall, I think the stop sign man is pretty funny, but he's definitely not one of the best mobs, so I decided to give the stop sign man a 7 out of 10. Subscribe if you want me to translate more mobs.